Here we are in Beaver, Utah. We have a beautiful view, but we're only here for one night. This is a nice little place. It's right off the highway, but it's far enough away not to really hear it too bad. And this leads right to our site. Yeah, what do you think of them? I love those. So we just went to the local grocery store here in Beaver, Utah. And we get in and I realize I don't have my wallet. Sarah doesn't have her money either. So luckily it's only a couple miles back to the campground. Me and Nora are heading back and Sarah's with the twins shopping. But yeah, good move, Blues. Just a normal day at the grocery store. Sound good. I've always felt like five was a little too slow. We were getting ready to leave this campground and I noticed that this tire on our RV was damaged. Here we are. We have a situation with a tire, so I need to change it. We were at a campground, but Having to put the slides in and all that, just to do it, we figured we'd leave. We pulled across the street into this big parking lot, and I'm going to change it here. All right, I got all the lug nuts broke loose, and now we're going to lift it up. So I unhooked the truck from the RV. I lifted the RV with its own jacks, and I know that's controversial, but I figured the jacks are made to lift the RV. And you're only lifting the tire off the ground for like 15 to 20 minutes, and then you're putting it right back down. So I figured it's okay. And now I'm gonna finish tightening them down. All right, I need to hook the truck back up, put the tire under where the spare goes, and we're ready to go. So here's our issue. Uh, it looks a lot worse. Deeper. I don't know if it is because it's cooler out right now, but a lot of people online were saying these tires looked bald. And you can clearly see they're nowhere near bald. They're like brand new. Our RV, in order to get the spare tire down, we open up our outdoor kitchen. There's this hole here. Use your tool that comes with the RV. Stick it in there and crank it down. In case anybody's wondering where that is. All right, I'm gonna slide this tire under there, hook it up. Crank it back up and we're on our way. All right, there she is. Looking all cool. Go down the road. 
it's such a nice spot to change a tire. Look at this view. Surrounded by mountains. That's why we picked it. I took the tire to the shop and they don't know what caused the damage. They've never seen that before. And they replaced the tire for us. And then I sent the info into Tire Shield and they sent us a check. Here we are at a Harvest Host for the night. And this is gonna be a nice view for us. Pretty excited about this one. And bonus, it's gonna get down to like 58 degrees tonight. Does everybody like the ice cream? Mm -hmm. All right, what do you like better, the huckleberry or the raspberry cheesecake? Mm -hmm. Both are dumb. <laughs> Mine are both are dumb too. Oh, good. Call. I'm gonna go with the raspberry cheesecake. It's sweeter, but they're both they're both good. What do you pick, sir? Oh. Uh -huh. No, I want that that one again. Which one would you pick, sir? Probably the raspberry cheesecake. Oh, I want that so one. She inhales the Frankenberry. Day. Okay, did we learn our lesson about not booking in advance? Negative. We did not. We are trying to get in the Salt Lake City area and we failed again. Miserably. Yeah, so we're what, 45 minutes out outside? We found a spot. I don't know. Two spots on two different ends of two different directions. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Maybe we'll learn next time. <laughs>